Awesome. What's up, everyone? Mark Lobiner, Machine Militia. Oh, man. I, uh, I, I did that amino spiking series, and I got to say, we got it. Damn. We freaking are changing the industry. We had industry-wide police watch groups going out, making shit happen, telling people what's up, setting guidelines. I heard of large companies actually changing their formulas because of it, because I called them out, and consumers are getting smart. Bam! That's what I'm talking about. Now, the shit's still going on, and I'm still pissed off. Y'all know I put real fucking whey in my MTS Nutrition Whey, right? Real whey. You know, Dimatize, I'll go on. I've seen their facility. I've been in there. They ain't got no fucking taurine sitting on a fucking pallet. They have friggin' whey on the pallet. Whey. Straight up whey from a resource that I know and trust. Their, their raw whey powder is real. Legit. Optimum, they're not tiger tested. I'll tell you what, they're vertically integrated. That's it. I'm going to tell you about some scams and ripoffs that I heard about that just pissed me the hell off. And it's going to go from New Zealand. It's happening in the US. It's happening in Canada. Those are the two countries I know it's happening in, but it pisses me off and I'm going to get at it. And you guys comment down below if you think you know what the brands are, but I'm not going to confirm because I'm not going to get sued again. All right, let me tell you something. Let me ask you this. If you have a publicly traded commodity like gas, you go to the gas station. Every other gas station has it for $3.22 a gallon. You go across streets to $1.30. Are you getting gas? No, you're getting fucking water. Okay, that's what's happening with this way. If you see a price that you do not believe is possible, it likely isn't. Way is a publicly traded commodity. Publicly traded. So if somebody look at Optum, they're vertically integrated. They fucking milk the cows. They blend it. And then they sell. So even if they're marking it up a good amount, they're so vertically integrated. If someone's kicking Optimum's ass in pricing by that much, chances are you're not getting what's on the label. Just being real. If you're, be if you're beating Optimum by 50%, yeah, I'll be right on par or a little bit below Optimum. But at the end of the day, they're making better margin than me because they're very vertically integrated. They're fantastic. I happen to have relationships with the dairy farms and the people who make the way. As you see, if you follow me on Instagram, go in there and, and uh, you know, fucking seeing the way being processed from milk. to And it's pretty awesome. My Instagram's at Mark Lobliner, by the way. But I see these douchebag companies and I've tested them and I can't say who they are. It's either coming out as 50% to 60% of the protein claimed or it's coming out as spiked with taurine, glycine, or other amino acids, which I've touched on before. Now, let me go into another thing that's going on. For example, New Zealand whey. Um, that's a great quality way because they're, they're very stringent about their quality control in New Zealand. Extremely stringent. Not that their cows have uber milk, just that their quality control standards. And when you get New Zealand, if someone's claiming to have New Zealand whey, it's going to be really, 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 really fucking expensive. Because not only do you have whey coming from New Zealand, paying all the fees for their fucking testing for this, this, and this to adhere to the government regulations, you're also paying the tariffs, duties, and all those other things to bring that motherfucker over to this country or to Canada and to make it happen. So if you're buying a New Zealand way, it's going to be expensive. Is it worth it? I'm not going to say it isn't, but I'm going to say that it's going to be fucking expensive. If you see a New Zealand way that's sold for less than a fucking domestic American or Canadian way, chances are you're not getting New Zealand way or they're under delivering on the protein content in the bottle, which I have seen their tests. And yes, they are for these cheap way. So that's kind of where it goes. It's just, this is called, it's too good to be fucking true. If it's too good to be true, it is. I get people all the time. Why did I increase my price on whey, on my MTS nutrition whey? Whey prices went up. Uh, there was an article in the Wall Street Journal that stated such, and it is what it is. I usually try and, I, I, I try and take 50% and hit myself on margin, and then I have to pass some of it along. So it went from $49.99 to $52.99. Still a very good price for five pounds away, very competitive, but it was necessary. Do I want to raise your price? Absolutely not. I want to charge $25 if I can stay in business doing it, but guess what? It's a business. I have employees to pay. I have insurance to pay. I have OSHA shit. I have all that other stuff, okay? And I also have to make sure that we adhere to quality control, which means that I need money. I need margin. I can't operate on less than 20%. It's not fucking possible. I mean, I'm not Costco. They operate on 15%. But on way, you are operating less than 20%. That's why it's such a hard market to get into legitimately because the investment levels in the seven figures to do it right. You literally have to have seven figures to even get into the fucking ball game correctly. Usually, usually there are exceptions. That's why it takes the players, the optimums, the diamatized. Fuck me. Fuck me. 
um, to get this done. So what I'm saying, guys, is that if you are buying a way, a New Zealand way, in the US or in Canada, which is being imported from fucking New Zealand over here, that's far, and it's cost less than an isolate. Now, these are isolates usually. And if the isolate from New Zealand costs less than an isolate from the USA or Canada, chances are you're not getting New Zealand isolate, are you? No, you're not. That's it, guys. I appreciate you watching this. And that's just another thing to look at how not to get ripped off buying protein. And there's many more where this came from. I'm Mark Lobliner, Machine Militia. Because <laughs> buying New Zealand way and ending up with some fucking maltodextrin, it's not a game.